Okay, and last up, we have the Rode VideoMic Pro. Now, the Pro looks a little bit different to its brothers. Um, it has an elasticated shock mount system. It's still very small, very neat, centrally balanced, so that if you put it on a stabilizer, it will help you keep the whole thing in balance. Um, around the back, you have a set of controls. Um, a little bit like the video mic, you have the ability to engage a high pass if you want to do that. So if you want to get rid of rumble and slightly increase the directionality, you can do that. Where the video mic pro is different to its brothers is this plus 20 dB mode. So if you engage this, what's happening is that the video mic pro is supplying an extremely high quality loud signal into your DSLR. And what you can do on your DSLR is reduce the levels right down. What happens is that, frankly, the, the, the preamps that are built into the DSLRs introduce hiss into the recordings. And what the, the VideoMic Pro's 20 dB mode does is it supplies a really nice, loud, clean signal out of the three and a half mil jack so that you can turn your camera down and with it, you reduce the hiss that's built into the recording. It's a totally awesome feature and it just, for quiet situations like this, I have it on right now on my Canon 550, it allows us to get cleaner, quieter recordings, quieter in the sense that they have less hiss. Um, so for the most professional result on a DSLR, definitely go with VideoMic Pro. This is around £139, and if you register it when you receive it, you get a 10-year warranty. Hi, my name's Andrew. This is a typical Talking Heads type interview situation. Hi, my name's Andrew. This is a typical Talking Heads type interview situation. We're recording with the Rode VideoMic Pro in 20 dB boost mode. We're recording with the Rode VideoMic Pro in 20 dB boost mode. It's mounted to a microphone stand about two feet away and we're recording to the Canon 550D. It's mounted to a microphone stand about two feet away and we're recording to the Canon 550D.